Celebrities dating someone young for them is nothing new. It happens all the time in Hollywood. And in some cases, I'm looking at you, DiCaprio. It seems to be the goal. Whether money and power help compensate for the sometimes drastic differences in ages, or for some other reason, famous people seem to always be doing some sort of cradle robbing. Do you find me undesirable? Oh no, Mrs. Robinson. I think, I think you're the most attractive of all my parents' friends. I am your host, Nostalgic Nick, and today we are taking a look at 10 celebrity marriages with the biggest age gaps. And that's not even mentioning Icky Hugh Hefner's last wedding when he tied the knot with someone 60 years younger. Because, ew, gross. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up icon to show support. And subscribe to our channel so you always hear our wedding bells. Warren Beatty and Annette Benning. The world did not wait with bated breath when Hollywood hunk and serial womanizer Warren Beatty married his Bugsy co-star and rising star Annette Bening in 1992. After all, Beatty had never had a relationship that lasted, and Benning was 19 years his junior. Surely this match with an age gap wide enough to vote for president would never last. But something about the young actress was apparently irresistible as the couple have been married for 30 years and have four kids together. The world was wrong. When we were working on the movie together and just meeting and everything, it was, it was very romantic. And once you finish this video, a 19 year age difference is going to seem downright tiny to you. Harrison Ford and Callista Flockhart. By the time Harrison Ford began dating Callista Flockhart in 2002, Han Solo was 60 years old and had two past marriages, which resulted in four kids. If your love life was an ice cream uh, flavor, what would it be called? Rocky Road. <laughs> but would that stop Indiana Jones from shacking up with the 38-year-old star of Ally McBeal? Absolutely freaking not. And honestly, when you do the age test, divide 60 by two, add seven, you get 37, which is less than 38. Then the relationship is not creepy at all. And that's if you put any weight at all into some inane rule invented by a middle schooler somewhere. At any rate, Ford and Flockhart have been married for 13 happy years and have raised one child together. They live on an 800 acre ranch in Wyoming so yeah, not too shabby. Aristotle Onassis and Jackie Kennedy. Who's to say that just because you're one of the most famous women in the world, who's been married to the preeminent family in the world of American politics? And who does this former first lady of the US turn to for solace in this crazy world? Why, a millionaire Greek shipping magnate, 23 years her senior, of course. The world was shocked when Jackie Kennedy married Aristotle Onassis in 1968, trading the protection of the Secret Service for privacy and security on a secluded Greek island. But hey, that sounds real nice to me. Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Finally, our first couple age gap that hits the quarter century mark and the first to feature two people born in different centuries. I'm talking, of course, about Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, who were 44 and 19 respectively when they met in 1943. Now, I'll not get into whether it was super creepy that Bogart remarked, quote, I just saw your test, we'll have a lot of fun together, when he met the aspiring actress or if him nicknaming her baby because of their age difference is unsettling. Because it is. However you feel about them, the two were married, tempestuously for the most part, with two kids for 12 years until Bogart's death in 1957. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. And now moving from a power couple from the golden age of Hollywood with a 25 year age gap to a power couple with a 25 year age gap from Hollywood's modern era. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones were both born on September 25th, albeit one in 1944 and one in 1969. So the two already had something to talk about when they met in France in 1999. 
I'm not sure Douglas creepily telling her that, quote, I want to father your children on that first meeting, as reported by Zeta Jones herself. And uh, I said to her after about half an hour, you know, I'm going to be the father of your children helped or hurt his calls, but the two were married less than a year later. As of today, the couple have been married 22 years and have two kids together. Michael Douglas, accomplished seer. Frank Sinatra and Mia Farrow. Luck was certainly a lady the night of 48-year-old Frank Sinatra met up-and-coming actress, 19-year-old Mia Farrow. Uh, after the movie, he said, uh, will, you, will you come back to Palm Springs with me? I'm flying back tonight on my own plane. Oh, God. Old Blue Eyes was entranced, and the two were married in 1966 for two volatile years. Maybe it was the fact that Farrow later described herself as being an, quote, impossibly immature teenager when she met the aged crooner. Or maybe it was the fact that Sinatra wanted Pharaoh to give up her promising acting career and follow him around like a puppy dog. Whatever the reason, their marriage with a massive age gap of 29 years was doomed from the start. And although the two remained friends until Sinatra's death, they were divorced by 1968. Joan Collins and Percy Gibson. I know what you're thinking. All these dirty old men pursuing these young women years and years younger than them. Gross. But there's at least one woman who makes this list. And that's 89-year-old bombshell Joan Collins, who in 2002 married Percy Gibson, a guy 31 years her junior. We didn't really have a theme of the party. We wanted it white and silver. But of course a woman once named World Sexiest Woman was able to score a hunk three decades younger than her. Heck, old Nick here would fall for Collins in a heartbeat. The marriage is Collins' fifth. Joan Collins is something for all of us to aspire to. Cary Grant and Diane Cannon. The second entry in our list to top the three-decade mark is the short two-year marriage between Cary Grant, star of The Philadelphia Story, and Diane Cannon, the first woman to be nominated for Oscars for work both behind and in front of the camera. The two started dating when Cannon was 23 and Grant 56, a remarkable gap of 33 years. Actually, I was younger. I was 23 when I met him. Is that right? 23 yes, when you met him? 28 was... when you married him, 23 when you met him? Yes. And while it may seem that a match between two such talented people was made in heaven, their relationship ended after just six years, or just shy of one-fifth of the differences in their ages. Their marriage did produce Grant's only child, though, a daughter named Jennifer, whom Grant repeatedly called, quote, his best production. Charlie Chaplin and Una O'Neill. You might think a relationship that begins between a 58-year-old who is one of the biggest movie stars of all time and his 18-year-old protege would be doomed to failure from the start. Add in the fact that the star, Charlie Spencer Chaplin, was embroiled in multiple scandals, one a witch hunt by the FBI into potential communist sympathies, the other a frivolous paternity suit that nevertheless captured the country's imagination and was surreptitiously supported by the FBI. You'd think there was no way that marriage would last, and yet Chaplin's marriage to Una O'Neill, the daughter of playwright Eugene O'Neill, lasted 34 years until Chaplin's death in 1977. Parisian theater managers present Chaplin's wife, Una, with a souvenir of exquisite scarves, which even her husband can't resist. It produced eight children, so sometimes 36-year age gaps mean nothing at all. Dick Van Dyke and Arlene Silver. So far, we've had a gradual increase in our age gaps as we go down the list. So hold on to your butts for this one, because in 2012, 86-year-old Mary Poppins star Dick Van Dyke married a 40-year-old makeup artist Arlene Silver, which, if your simple math skills aren't too rusty, adds up to a whopping 46-year age difference. Now, how did he pop the question? <laughs> I popped it every day for yeah. six months. 
which means Van Dyke was probably in the middle of a midlife crisis when his future bride was born. When the two first met at the SAG Awards, the first thing Silver asked the Silver Fox was, quote, weren't you in Mary Poppins? A movie that came out before she was born, of course. But Silver has said the age gap makes no difference. And Van Dyke has said, quote, she's very mature for her age and I'm very immature for my age. So it's just about right. There they are. 10 celebrity couples with massive age differences. So how many of these relationships do you actually remember? Did they scandalize you at the time? Or do you come down on the side of love? Did we leave any famous couples out with a big age gap? Please let me know in the comments below, we read them all. Before you go, hit that thumbs up icon to show us some support and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a memory. But from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.